All right. Now this one right here is the industrial 3MT HDP. So it's also a pellet printer, but it's just a much, much bigger size. The build volume on this delta printer is one meter in diameter and one meter in height. And as I've mentioned, it also uses pellets. That means it needs a reservoir, which is on the side of the control unit. Now the control unit, of course, also has the entire user interface, allowing you to connect to Wi-Fi, allowing you to connect to OctoPrint, so you can control your print uh, using that software. And um, you lift up this little latch, and then you fill in all the pellets for your print. The printer itself features a vacuum belt plate once again, allowing for easy changing of the belt plate itself, allowing for easy removal of your parts once they are finished. The entire print head uh, is set up in a way to only request pellets when necessary, so there's a tiny material runout sensor on the side that recognizes when there are no more pellets in the extruder itself, and then using a negative air pressure system, it requests pellets from the reservoir, they get you know, pushed into the extruder, and then it has material to work again for a little while. Um, also on the uh, printhead, there is something called a fire cap, which is basically uh, a triplet of heat guns around the printhead itself that blow hot air around the part, allowing for something similar to a chamber heating system. This can go all the way up to 150 degrees. The printhead itself can reach 350 degrees Celsius, so you can print quite hot. Um, of course, the printer itself can extrude a massive amount of uh, plastic material. It is up to two kilograms of plastic per hour. Now, that is absolutely insane, if you ask me. And let me uh, check my notes real quick. The nozzle diameter itself is three millimeters in diameter, and your layer resolution goes from 0 0.3 millimeters all the way to 1.5. Uh, so it's a very, very quick printer, and you can do anything from smaller parts all the way up to a chair like this that you can actually sit on, and it'll carry your weight. Now, this machine will be released around the end of Q2 of next year, and will cost around 59,000 euros plus tax. So that's it for now. Just a quick overview of this machine, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.